Mickey being responsible for me um, being released at WWE, you know? I started TNA, the second largest wrestling organization in the world. It was snatched out from under me. It's a longtime feud that dates back to their former company. The newest knockout Mickey James and Tara have never liked each other. Tara still feels that Mickey James was partially responsible for her release from the WWE. Mickey being responsible for me um, being released at WWE, you know, it could have a lot of truth to it. You know, a lot of people um, can go do the politicking way and go in the office and badmouth each other, but myself i like to believe i had two more years left on my contract i chose to leave wwe i'm much happier here at tna i mean it was no secret that we were never friends in the first place regardless what what company it was with and uh even on a personal level so i think that she's just uh has some you know issues from the past and if obviously if she wants to take care of them well now's the time to take care of them and i'm in the here and the now and i live for this moment right now because that's all you truly have uh, the first time I saw Mickey James backstage was kind of shocking, I'll be honest with you. Um, I worked with her in the past. I know her repertoire. I know her moves. I know her arsenal. I know everything about her. So I was kind of surprised she did come here. Um, you know, I did, I did stereotype her as the typical diva. Um, myself, I wasn't a diva. I considered myself a, a wrestler. And um, for her to come here and uh, follow my footsteps, I guess, I guess I should be flattered, huh? You know, this is where it's at. You know, TNA is where the true fighters are. I probably had the toughest time with Tara just because it's, the whole thing started with her and it ended with her. And and even in the match it ended with her. So it's kind of um, I feel like I have some unfinished business now with her to settle. Earlier tonight on Impact, these two women battled all over the Impact Zone. As the brawl continued, Madison Rain, Velvet Sky, Angelina Love and Sarita joined the fray. I just was in catering, just hanging out and then Next thing you know, I get attacked from behind, and lo and behold, it's obviously Tara, and she's beating the crap out of me. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It just kind of she just kind of snapped. And obviously, this is something that we could have settled in the ring and like settled like professionals or as women. But uh, she just kind of took it to a different level. Yeah, I, um, you. Uh, I think you hit her with a trash can. I think she had it coming. I mean, she hit me with something out of the trash can, which was loaded with gross food from, you know, hours ago. And then so, I mean, the least I could do was hit her back with the trash can, I think. All holy hell just broke loose. You think? Yeah. What? Guys? I don't know who this diva comes in trying to take up our spot. Diva? Like, the hell? There's three of them out there! Honestly! Cars! That's how they fight. This, oh, no, this is far from no, They wanted to fight. They're getting they to fight, fight tonight. tonight. That's right. They're mine. They could not I, handle us. You got that. that? Mickey no, freaking James. Hey, such a worry. bitch. Mickey and James and I have way, way too much history. And I have not forgot about what she's done to me. She passed. messed with the wrong three yes, girls. That was uncalled for. You know, I don't I don't really, I know I have an issue with Tara, but what is a thing called professionalism. What is that issue, by the way? I, she's always left a bad taste in my mouth. And... Apparently, it's a feeling to me. We're just not friends. That's all. I mean, I, ultimately, I really did respect her, but that's out the door. Bless her heart, Mickey James is uh, probably a sweet person, you know, a country girl, good heart. Um, but, you know, I worked with her for many years, and I know deep down inside she's very self promoting, backstabbing, and you just have to kind of ignore it and just talent will float to the top so it's no doubt that this this business in itself is very like you have to look out for yourself because nobody else is going to do that for you and politics and you have to look out for number one and at the end of the day most people at they're looking out for themselves because that's just how it is i told them i'm going to welcome her with a great big widow's peak no hug widow's peak and we saw that back on on the impact last week so you know any any girl that comes here you know great you know the more the merrier and hopefully they're great wrestlers but you're gonna have to go through me to get into our squared circle tara and mickey james are prepared to settle this feud at turning point on november 7th but will they be able to make it until then november 7th turning point uh I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, it's going to be memorable because we haven't really had a wrestling match in ages. And I know the fans of my Twitter, they're going crazy for Mickey James and Tara match. But I think she's, uh, you know, I've been 
taking MMA classes on the side. So I have a little bit more up my sleeve, I think, and a little bit more aggression and a little bit more anger now. You know, it's like building up. And, you know, I'm, I'm ready. And I'm, I think the fans are going to be super stoked. Mickey James, the wrestler, I think she's an outstanding wrestler. I'll be honest with you. Um, she's been doing it for maybe a year longer than I have. And um, I was, was a fan of hers before getting into the business and got a chance to work with her. And she's really tricky, very unorthodox. I'm, I'm more of a brawler. I'm more of a fighter, a stand-up boxer, a turning point. Uh, I think it's you know, a fabulous match, but I'm gonna tell you guys out there, it's gonna be a freaking brawl, kick-ass match where I am gonna dominate. Simple. You know, I'm gonna make sure it's full contact.